and welcome to Space Arena, the ultimate Python turtle graphics game tutorial part 17 in which we will be making multiple missiles for our player to shoot. So let me go ahead and show you what we've got here in case you haven't been on for a while. And so you see I've got one missile. I can only fire one at a time, which is, which is okay. Um, I can live with that. But let's say we get a power up or we wanna make uh, more missiles. Let's go ahead and give our player the ability to shoot multiple missiles. So the first thing we gotta do is actually, we're gonna create the missiles that the player can use. So I'm gonna come all the way down here and this program's getting to be quite large. I should refactor it and put it into multiple files. That makes it a little bit more difficult, I think, for, for some beginners. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it the way it is. And so you can see here, um, I've created a missile object. But what I wanna do is I wanna create multiple missile objects. So I'm gonna go ahead and create missile objects. And I'm gonna make a list, just like I did with sprites. I'm gonna say missiles uh, equals, and I'm gonna make an empty list. I'm gonna use a little for loop. And let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and make three to make to start out. And then what I'll do is I'll say missiles dot append missile. Now don't forget the extra parenthesis over here or you'll get an error. Uh, it comes up all the time. And that will create multiple missiles. So now if I try to run the program, I'm gonna get an error because it's not set up for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and probably go up to the player. Let's go ahead and go up to the player class. And in our fire method, this is where it shoots. Okay, so you can see here it says missile. Now, as I showed, I just, I have several missiles. So what I gotta do is I gotta check the missiles. So for missile in missiles. Okay. I wanna fire. Now, if I do this, let's, let's just see what happens. We're probably gonna get an error. Yeah, we got, I thought we get an error. Um, sprites append missile, line 43. So I made a mistake somewhere. Line 43. Okay, so you see here where I append the one missile. So what I gotta do is I gotta go say for missile in missiles, append missile. Okay, that'll add them all. Let's go ahead and try that again. And again, we're gonna get some errors. So you'll see here, now in 582, again, it's looking for a missile, but we haven't defined it anymore. It's now a list of missiles. So I'm gonna go to line 582. Let's roll all the way down. I said this is getting to be a longer program. And 582, here we go. So if missile state, so I'm gonna go ahead for missile in missiles. And this is one of the nice things about using a list. It just kind of, you know, takes care of things for you. And there's also another one here. Um, now I could switch this code around a little bit and just break that down to one, but we'll just go ahead and stick with the way it is, uh, missiles. Okay, so there's several places that we have to deal with this missile issue. So if I just can keep testing it and see what happens. Okay, now it's running. So I'm gonna hit space bar, fires. Okay. Now, it's hard to tell, but it's actually firing all three missiles at the same time. And you can probably see that the collisions aren't working quite right. And that's something I have to come back and revisit. But uh, I don't want them to fire all three missiles on top of each other. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to my player, and wherever that's at, there we go, fire. And right now it's firing all of the missiles, okay? So what I'm gonna do is if missile.state equals active, uh, sorry, actually equals ready, I believe was what we used. It's been a while. So if the missile is ready, fire the missile, okay? So, but what I need to do is I only wanna fire one missile. So I'm gonna try and put break in here. And what break should do, if I'm correct, is it'll break out of the loop and it will only fire the first missile. So let's go ahead and test that. I could be wrong, but so I'm gonna hit space bar, okay. Okay, two missiles. Okay, so one, two, three. So I can fire three missiles at a time, which is pretty cool. And you see as soon as one disappears, I can go ahead and 
So we could actually, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and do something crazy. And we could go ahead and do something like, where are we at here? Missiles, we could make, let's go ahead and make 30 missiles. What the heck, why not? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. Now because the, they, they die pretty early, they, they, they disappear early, it's hard to get all 30 going. But you can see how basically now I can have un, almost unlimited missiles. Let's go ahead and change that back to three. Okay, so what I wanna do is to prepare for, say, the future, where we'll have a power-up that will give us you know, missile abilities or whatever you want to call it. What I'll do is in my fire method, uh, what I'm going to, oops, in my, not missile fire, but in my player fire method, what I want to do is first figure out how many missiles I have. Okay, so I'm going to say num of missiles equals zero. Okay. And then what I'm going to just do is I'm going to say, I'm going to get quite a few changes here. So watch what I do here. So num of missiles plus equals one. Okay, so now, now this part is going to be put somewhere else. Okay. So watch what I do here and watch the indentation. So I'm going to find out how many missiles are ready. So we're either going to have zero missiles, we're going to have one missile ready. We're going to have two missiles ready. Or we're going to have three missiles ready. That's that's our, our case. All right. So let's go ahead and deal with that. So if, OK, num of missiles equals 1. Then what I can do is I can just go ahead and do this again. All right. So that that should put it back to where it was. Um, then what I can do here is I'm going to go ahead and just copy this for for now. Again, usually I code these out ahead of time. I'm kind of doing this live, so it might be a little bit clunkier than you're used to seeing. Um, so I'm going to hit two, and then I have to change this around. Okay, and again, I'm trying to keep this a little bit simple. So no matter what number of missiles I have, it's going to let me do this. All right, so go ahead and hit function, F5. I got an error, of course, break outside of loop. Ah, okay. I got to do a loop here again for missile in missiles. Okay, so function F5. So right now there's three ready, so let's see what happens. Okay, I can only shoot one missile at a time, which is which is fine. Um, because it's equals three, uh, and then I can only shoot one of those. Alright, so let's it breaks right out of that. So let me think about how I want to approach this. And again, like I said, I usually figure these out ahead of time, but I'm just gonna do it here. So Watch what I do here. I'm going to say print three. And I just want to see what's going on. Okay, print two. So this is kind of just kind of to show you the, how can I say it? Show you the, the way you might want to debug your code a little bit without, if you don't want to use a debugger, of course. So let me hit a space bar. Okay, so you see down here three. Three, 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 uh, two. Okay. Okay, but nothing's nothing's really changing. Okay, so what I want to do, uh, I'm gonna actually go ahead and probably undo this, and say, if the number is three, what I can do is something like this. So for missile in missiles, now I want to fire all of them, right? Okay. Now here's the challenge, is if I fire them all, they're all gonna be on top of each other. Okay, so let's see here. What could I do? Well, I know what I did before, so I could, I could do something like this. Directions equals zero, negative five, and five. Okay, this could be a tuple, this doesn't have to change. Um, again, this code isn't quite as uh, lean as I'd like it to be, but let's, let's do this. So I'm gonna say, 
uh, how can I put this? Mm. So self dot oh, sorry missile dot dot heading plus equals directions dot pop. Okay, and let me see if this works, and then I'll explain it. Top logic has no attribute pop. Duh. Okay, this has to be a list. My bad. Um, and there's probably a better way to go about this, but this this I think will work. Okay, self dot missile dot heading plus equals directions dot pop dot heading for missile and missiles. Let me try that again. Ah, notice three didn't. That's interesting. Three didn't. Oh, because I took it out. Uh, print three. Okay, I just want to make sure that that's the section of code that's operating. Print. Great. This is going to be one of those good days I have in coding. <laughs> but, you know, it's interesting, like, uh, just, you know, for people who are following at home or beginners, I've been doing this a long time. I make a lot of mistakes. Um, so it's, it's, it's not unusual. So let me go ahead and try that again. It should be working, but I don't know why it's not. Oh, duh. <laughs> Total rookie mistake. Okay. I'm breaking out of that for loop. That was stupid. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that again. Okay. Okay, three. So that's not working. I was pretty sure that was going to work. Um, let's try minus 10. Let's see if maybe we just need bigger numbers. So the heading function f5. Oh, I know why because the heading is actually changed later. No. Ah, sha. Okay, got it. Self.heading plus directions.pop. Okay, so the heading of the missile comes from the player. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done one of these two videos for about two weeks. So there was a bit of a gap here, so I'm a little rusty myself. Let's try that. Okay, there, yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, so now we've got a spreading volley of missiles and they all bounce off the wall separately and we can go ahead and shoot stuff oops that was not what i wanted to happen okay so that's the case where we have three missiles okay but what's interesting like let's go ahead and yeah so so you notice there i can only shoot one missile because there was only one missile left um so what i'm going to do is i want to go ahead and just basically copy this because it does work which which makes me happy um and then I'm gonna do the same thing here for two. So in the case where we have two missiles, and I think I'll put this back to five. I don't, I don't want that quite a big of a spread for the, the missiles. So if number of missiles equals two, and then what we'll do is we want them to go left and right. And I have to say here, if missile.state equals active and the more I add to this the more I realize this is not particularly efficient code um, my original version was much nicer actually and so what I'll do here is I'm going to copy this again and I'll just re I'll review this at the end real quick now here I shouldn't need to do this but we could actually end up in the case where we have 10 missiles and we want to just only fire three at a time okay so so I might say yeah, I may have to fix that one a little bit later. Anyway, um, so let's just keep it to one, two, or three. So in a case where we've got two active missiles, we should only fire, you know, kind of two missiles spread. So let's just go ahead and test that out by uh, changing our number of missiles to two. So let's go ahead and run it. And two, and then nothing's happening. And we'll see what I did wrong. Equals two. Let's see, it's not printing two. Um, now, why is that? Okay, let's get rid of this. I don't think we need that. Yeah, sorry. Like I said, this is really sorry. I'm usually a bit more organized, but 
I think there is a value in watching somebody screw things up and, and try to fix them. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we got an error. Break is outside of the loop. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Um, okay, and there we go. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay, two is coming up, but nothing's happening. So let's see why. Missile and missiles. Missile dot fire. Now it worked with three, but it's not working with two. Now why is that? Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure the number of missiles is correct. So print num uh, num of missiles. Now this should keep printing over and over again. Okay, two, 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 two. But I don't see any missiles. Isn't that annoying? Or missile missiles or missile that state equals. Ah, oh, it's not active, it's ready. Duh. But it worked there, which is kind of weird. Let's go ahead and test it again. There we go. That was stupid. Okay, so now if we got two missiles. So it'll fire two missiles at a time, which is kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and test it with one missile. And so you got to test all these cases because God knows, as you can see, things will happen in range one. So let's go ahead and give it one missile. Okay. And actually, probably what I should have done now that I think about it. And again, this is this is kind of part of the process, I suppose. Um, number of missiles plus equals one. Oh, I already did that. So if number of missiles is ready, I already did that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think it's working. So let's go ahead and put it back to three because it looks kind of cool and then I'll review it and just kind of show you what I did there one more time because that was a little confusing and I do apologize for that it's, plus this video is getting really long um, so anyway uh, so and I'm sorry for all the uh's I've been trying to get rid of those but live and learn so let's go back to the start here where what I did was I created a list of missiles now and then appended them to, appended a certain number of missiles to the list. I also, at this point, that's one thing that was changed. I also, at in the collisions, checked to see not just one missile, but for missile and missiles. So I have to check if it's active and then check for the collisions. And I had to do that twice, once for power ups and once for the enemies. And again, I could have combined that, but I'll leave it the way it is. The other thing I had to do was in the game setup, game, 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 start level, excuse me, game start level, I had to append all of the missiles to the list of sprites so they would be updated and, and dealt with properly. And then in the player fire method, I had to find the number of active missiles, missiles that are ready, and I should say active, the number of missiles that are ready to be fired. And in a case where there's one missile, I would fire just that, that, the one missile. Actually, I should say, I should actually do the same thing here, four missile and missiles, because it might not be the first missile that's available, so we might get a little error there. So let's go ahead and take that out. And then, now again, I should test this, but I'm just going to leave it like it is because I'm tired. Uh, so uh, if the number of missiles equals two, then what I did was, oh, I didn't explain the pop thing. So what I did was I have five, minus five degrees and plus five degrees. I want them to go slightly out at angles. And so what directions pop does is it actually takes this value out of the list, pops it off the list, and then I can add that. So the first time I add negative five, pop pop it again, it adds five. So n number two and the number of items here has to match. Now if I had like, I want to do a 30 missile round robin thing, which would be pretty cool, I would have to have all of these, all of those plus five, you know, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, or whatever the numbers would work out to. Now in the case here where I've got three missiles that are ready, again, I should qualify that. I'm gonna pop out, the first one's gonna go straight, the second one's gonna go a little to the left, Third one's gonna go a little bit to the right, but you can't tell that as, you, as you're playing the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete those. We don't need them. And I think that is it. Oh, I'll test it one more time, but I think that should do it. 
And I will put this code along with all the other testing code in the GitHub link, which is in the description. So if you like what you see, subscribe for details, or subscribe for updates, I should say, and stick around. Um, thanks, for, thanks for watching, and keep on coding. Take care.